Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Mode on, and today I want to talk with you guys about will Battlefield 1 have a premium service? Now, of course, before we start talking about Battlefield 1 and the possibility of a premium service reissuing into the Battlefield franchise, let's quickly talk about Battlefield 1 and see what the premium service was all about and when it was officially announced. So the premium service for Battlefield 4 was officially announced on August 20th of 2013. Now that we've made it apparent of when the premium service came to tuition, let's quickly talk about what DICE had in store for the premium service as well as what it did for the members that were willing to pay a little bit more for this particular premium service. So starting things off, let's talk about the five DLCs that were included within the premium service. The five DLCs that were included were Second Assault, China Rising, Naval Strike, Dragon's Teeth, and last but not least, Final Stand. The premium service also provided two weeks of early access to all expansion packs for a competitive edge, unique personalization options including camos, paints, emblems, dog tags, and much more that would later be announced at a later date, priority positioning and server queues, new content every single week, as well as 12 bonus Battle 4 battle packs. So now that we've established what the premium service for Battlefield 4 did, especially when it comes down to the official dates that it was announced to the player base, as well as what premium has offered in the past, it is also worth noting that an introduction of free content became readily available to all players that decided to already have owned Battlefield 4 or would later be picking up the title at a later date. Now I'm sure some of you guys remember that there was a weapons crate DLC that gave us a few new weapons and really kind of revitalized the Battlefield 4 experience, especially when it came down to decreasing the amount of staleness that the franchise was suffering from at the time. Now alongside that, you also had multiple different community missions that granted a lot of players with new dog tags or some more battle packs. Granted, I'm sure most of you guys didn't care so much about the battle packs, but they were something that was available while completing these missions. Now, of course, Battlefield 4 actually broke the mold in terms of allowing for more content to be available to players without having to pay, so of course we later got a few downloadable content maps that would later extend the amount of maps that were available to all players. And as a result, a steady revival of the Battlefield franchise was on the up and up due to the consideration of these development studios trying to reinitiate players back into the fray, especially when it comes down to providing them with more content as well as extending the lifespan of the game ultimately. Now a very redeeming quality from EA slash DICE is that they've been giving out the Battlefield 4 DLCs over the last couple of months for free to any players that did not previously own them. So of course, if you are a premium player, but you were not able to find any of the selected maps in your region, of course, this did allow for more players to have the opportunity to jump into the fray and try out these new maps that were previously not being played on. So now that we've taken the opportunity to talk about Battlefield 4 Premium, as well as the official announce date that we did talk about, as well as just some of the content that has been available during Battlefield 4's lifespan, it's definitely worth talking about Battlefield 1 and to see some indiscrepancies that have been occurring at the moment with little news of premium being on the surface, especially from EA and DICE. So as of the moment, if you're a player that would like to pre-order Battlefield 1, your available options for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and or PC are the Standard Edition, the Deluxe Edition, and or the Exclusive Collector's Edition. Now, of course, each of these editions has some different bells and whistles to them, and in this video, I'm not necessarily going to be talking about that, considering that there are some indiscrepancies and some differences between these packages, but I would really like to focus more on the pre-owner bonuses due to the fact that there are some differences there in comparison to what we have had in the previous years. So as of the moment, if you're somebody that's going to be buying Battlefield 1 for the PC platform, your pre-order bonuses are fairly limited, but of course they do grant you some interesting concept as well as this might extend and answer the premium question that is on everybody's mind. So as of the moment, there is a 7 days early access to a free map drop that will come later during 2016. Alongside that, you also have a pre-order bonus known as the Hellfighter Pack, which includes the Hellfighter M1911, the Hellfighter Trench Shotgun, the Harlem Hellfighter Insignia, as well as the Hellfighter Solo Knife. Now, a very interesting alteration from the original formula with the Battlefield franchise is that the difference between the Standard Edition and the Deluxe Edition is that the Deluxe Edition does grant players three days early access, while the Standard Edition does not allow you to jump into the fray at an earlier date. 
The Battlefield franchise has never really strayed away from having pre-order bonuses. I mean, of course, if you're going to be picking up a physical copy, your local GameStop and or retailer will most likely have some sort of pre-order bonus that is associated with the title. Even when we take a look at the militaristic Battlefield titles, you have Battlefield 3 doing the exact same thing as we're seeing as of the moment, as well as Battlefield 4, so of course there hasn't really been a whole lot of alterations in terms of their pre-order bonuses. However, it's definitely very interesting to see early access sneaking into the Battlefield franchise because this has never really been a big thing and it's never really been a driving force for this particular series, so it is interesting to see how this will go by when it comes down to the player's reception. So the question still stands, is Battlefield 1 going to have a premium service? If DICE and or EA has any aspirations to announce a premium service, I would imagine they're going to be doing it here very shortly due to the fact that there is a gaming convention coming up here very shortly. At this convention, this is going to be a great opportunity to showcase Battlefield 1 as well as some of the other titles that EA is currently working on. And as a result, it has been officially announced at Gamescom that they're going to be showcasing a little bit more Battlefield 1 gameplay as well as a Battlefield Squads event is going to be held, so we'll be expecting multiple different internet personalities to show as well as some celebrities. Unfortunately, it is very difficult to determine if the premium service for Battlefield 1 is going to be a feature that is going to be present yet again for the Battlefield franchise. I do have a strong feeling that it is going to continue on with the Battlefield franchise. However, this may be the first year that we do see some alterations to what the premium service is, and it may not impact the player base as much as it has in the past. But anyway, guys, that's really all the information I have for you. Of course, I'm sure after Gamescom, we'll have some additional information that we may or may not be able to discuss. So, of course, as of the moment, it's really unclear if Battlefield will continue on with their premium service, but only time will tell in the end. But until the next episode, guys, this has been NMO, and I'm going to be signing out, guys. Peace.